This is a physics-based siege engine game that I'm currently working on. The idea is that in each level, you're given a set number of objects, like wood beams, projectiles, wheels, or these little ragdoll guys, and you have to arrange them or build something to destroy some structure. So it's sort of like Angry Birds, but the focus is on creating things. Whenever I start a new project, I'll first create a prototype to test some of the main mechanics. After making a basic scene, I implemented physics toggling. So the idea is that players will build something, then press play and just watch what happens. Uh, this is pretty simple, I just need to set the time scale to 0 to stop the physics and to 1 to start the physics. This achieves the effect I want, but setting the time scale causes some other issues related to timing. Uh, but this is just a prototype to test mechanics, so simple is better. Next is dragging objects. In the future, objects will be dragged from an inventory into the scene, but for now, we'll just drag around the one object. To implement dragging, when the mouse is clicked on an object, uh, we calculate an offset vector by subtracting the cursor position from the object position. Then, for every frame after that, if the mouse is moved, we take its position and add the offset vector to get the new position of the object. Next, I added a button that spawns objects in the scene. This is just until I add an inventory system. When the simulation is stopped, objects should be reset to their initial positions. So I created a class that stores the starting position and rotation of an object, and has a method that resets the game object to these starting values. Then I added a handle that lets you rotate objects. The implementation is the same as dragging, except there's a rotational offset. The main objects that you build with in the game will be different sizes of wood beams. So I created a basic one of those in order to test the final feature of this prototype, which is forming joints. To make building faster and easier, I want joints to form automatically whenever two objects overlap. So for two beams, I'll just approximate them as lines and form a joint wherever these two lines intersect. Here is the final prototype. You can spawn in beams, drag them around, and rotate them. If they overlap, then they get joined together. And you can start and stop the physics simulation. So it's pretty simple, but I think this shows that it could be developed into a full game. <laughs>